Ken is working in Dublin Simon's warehouse, sorting out donations. With a long-term background in addiction and homelessness, he believes the work programme is invaluable. When, when I finish my time here, I'll be able to go on and get, like a, I say, like a, a full-time job, like you know, and I'll be able to, like, um, you know, work 40 hours a week, like you know, I'll have no issues with it, working with people, that you know. Because when you're in, when you're in addiction for 20 years, like being on the streets, and that, you, d you don't like being around people, so like you push everything away, you know what I mean? So this way, it builds you back up. Dublin Simon has brought 65 people through its community employment scheme. What we feel is that a lot of the people you work with, they can do the actual work, but it's the soft skills and it's the um, going back to the office, going back into the workplace. So like we work with them on their timekeeping, on their teamwork, on kind of work etiquette, on um, kind of little things that we take for granted. Originally from Mexico, Anna became a healthcare professional here after coming through Dublin Simon's programme. Now a care worker, she originally became homeless after having to leave unregulated employment. I feel useful. I feel my skills are useful for the society I am living in. I am, uh, as I, I told you in person, um, I have a son. Um, I think the best uh, way to educate children is with example. And... Uh, that's made me feel proud. Dublin Simon is now hoping that labour shortages will encourage more employers to take on former clients. John Carain, RT News, Dublin.